guys it's me again my nc welcoming you with my warm hug today so um today guys we're going to be talking about the reflection in the service a while ago in hope of the city church and um the title of this topic is all about carry the call so the story is all about the enemies of judah and benjamin um heard that um the exiles they want to rebuild the temple for god of israel so it's god and um these enemies you know pretend that they want to help them so they came near and talked to zerubbabel and jeshua and other um, heads of the um, israel and told them if you know um, they're going to help rebuild the temple. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and other um, leaders of Israel, they refused um, their help. You know, they told them, you know, they, they're firm and told them that they have no partake on their work. And it it is them or it was them who needs to build the temple for God. So the big idea of the topic today is faith, obedience, and trust. Pastor gave three principles to live a life of four purpose. Number one is consecrate yourself for God's purpose. So Pastor said that um, we have to make sure that our life is consecrate is consecrated for God. You know, we should live a life that we have fear to the Lord because, guys, you know, um, if we don't consider like consecrated means like make your life um sacred something like that if we don't um um choose to consecrate our, our lives for god you know our directions is not straight for the lord i mean it's not straight going to the lord it's scattered our lives will be scattered so just like what it says in leviticus 20 verse 26 you must be holy because i the lord am holy i have set you apart from all other people to be my very own so guys that is um god's command you know um if god um separated us from situations or people that he doesn't want for us then we should let go guys you should let go and not hold back to that because god's purpose for us is always greater and we will we don't know where god will bring us to help people to know him you know god will use us so if our life is consecrated for god guys you know all good things you know we have acceptance in our heart in every situation that we are in we have self-control and um everything um that god's god's desire in his heart it will uh it will we will know that you know we, we will definitely know that you know um through children of god are holy you know and um because of god like what pastor said because uh, i mean because of jesus we are righteous in the eyes of god so we have complete access because of the Lord, you know, um, we will not experience this um, kind of treatment without, if it is not, if it wasn't because of Jesus, you know, if it wasn't because him being, you know, the, the one who bring us to God, to the Father. So, you know have to thank god that he gave jesus to us always remember guys that consecration comes from within you know we need to understand that because um we cannot just do um good things outside but it is different from the inside um, according to matthew 7 verse 13 to 14 you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad and its gate is wide for many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow 
and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it so guys like in my experience you know i mean all of us we always want it you know who who wouldn't want um an easy way you know i mean in general i'm talking about general you know like in my experience um being of being a follower of jesus let me tell you it is not easy okay god didn't promise a beautiful life for us he wants that beautiful life for us but here on earth we will face a lot of hardships you know and what is beautiful in our experience of hardship is um, Jesus being the center of it okay so as human we tend that we always want easy life like this like that and us that we for we forget to come um, to put Jesus in the center of it that we need to go through the needle you know to experience the things the, the hardships and everything because guys you know if we have um if if we know to how to um i mean like in tagalog i don't know how to say it in english pag dts i forgot but if we know that one guys we, we have um endurance that, that's the word we have endurance guys you know that's where we that's where we we're going to know christ if we have endurance in our lives because you know going to the kingdom of god we need to learn a lot of things it is not easy that's why that's what um you know like um in the bible said that like in matthew that we need to go through you know not a lot of people will find the narrow gate or you know like the the way going to hell is broad and we don't want that of course you know so we, we need to learn and accept that this life is not always easy there's always hardships but never forget to involve god in our situation all the time put jesus in the center of it like what pastor said that obedience to god it is liberating when we obey god so you know obedience um it goes a long way guys if we obey the lord he is faithful to us as well don't doubt guys or be confused if you know the lord is speaking to us you know um god will say once a lot wants to say or wants to feel us a lot of things in in here you know he will speak to us but you know let's not put offense to that you know um don't po don't put walls to that we need to um um accept it and don't be you know don't doubt you know because we just don't know um how god will use us to make someone realize you know we don't we may never know that um god will use us um to be a testimony for some people you know that these people that us will be the eye opener for them to know christ so you know if god speak to us allow god to come here inside so number two guys is create boundaries to protect your spiritual priorities like zerubbabel joshua and the others you know they took a uh, full responsibility in the command of king cyrus that you know if it is for god it is them who is who is appointed to do the temple to rebuild the temple for the for the lord that it is them who will do it you know they they've learned already because the enemies deceive them all the time they deceive them you know so this time they know already they learn already like what it says in romans 12 verse 2 don't copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect 
So it says there in the verse, guys, do not conform in the ways of this world, but let God um, transform us the way we think, you know. So these days, um, we are prone to all worldly things, especially what is very hot right now is money, you know. That's very hot these days, especially a lot of people has no job or they're reducing hours or, or they're they're sick they're f facing a lot of different kinds of afflictions guys but you know it's very important that whatever the ways of this world you know we're not obeying that but we're listening to the voice of the lord that he wants for us to wants for us to do always think that you know guys we always have a mission to do um to help someone or what god wants us to do for them so like what pastor said we need to contradict the enemy whatever the enemy put here don't let it go here in our hearts guys because if we let the lies of the enemy to rule over us we will never know that slowly we are moving away from the lord we are instead that we are stay connected to him we our faith will dwindle because what we hear is always just the lies of the enemy so we need to be careful with that guys always remember that the enemy will ruin our life and our relationship with other people and especially with god so we need to be careful with that because once we listen to the enemy guys it will condemn us the enemy will just laugh at us and in the end of the day we are the one who got condemned and we will suffer and the enemy will put the lights in our head that it is your fault because you're like this or like that so we need to choose wisely which one we need we want to follow let's read Ephesians 5 verse 10 to 17 carefully determine what pleases the Lord take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness instead expose them it is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them for the light makes everything visible this is what it said awake O sleeper rise up from the dead and christ will give you light so be careful how you live don't live like fools but like those who are wise make the most of every opportunity in this evil days don't act thoughtlessly but understand what the lord wants you to do so guys um god jesus how many times said in the bible that we need to choose that we're going to believe or we're going to follow you know we have to be careful that not to be connected in the worldly things you know that's to the things that we will be away from the lord that will separate us from god it is true that the evil intentions will shine it will ex we need to expose the evil intentions it will come to the light but everyone who is christ is within them it will shine it is only christ jesus who can give us light in these days guys even before until now until the day jesus comes back he is the light that will bring us to the kingdom of god so always think heavenly things that's rather than the material things or whatever that um makes us you know makes the things that we make as an idol in life not only things attitude everything guys you know it's that makes us separate to the lord we need to let go of that so number three it says complete the work that god has laid in our heart just like joshua and zerubbabel you know and others um who's um rebuilding the temple with them they have already learned guys like what i said a while ago they've been deceived for 
a long time and now they're not gonna let these enemies deceive them again there are times guys that um we were we are doing the work of god but then for some reason it stopped you know like what happened to them for how many years you know like for how many years they were so eager you know they're excited to do to do that but then it's just it stopped for some reason you know that happens in our life too guys but always remember that what whatever god wants us to do in the end we will be able to finish that don't let the enemy tell us otherwise guys you know that enemy like what pastor said has no pity on us in the end of the day guys it will condemn us you know and it will tell us that we are not worthy for god's love but that is not true you know this this is where we can get all the answers guys here in the bible Every, everything is here open up your bibles guys and you will see there that god wants us to come near to him especially if we, if there are things that you know we make sin you know don't be shy come near to the lord in rather than you know um blaming ourselves or thinking about the sin that we did before or right now come near to god guys he's the one that we should need to talk to it is jesus you know no one else so our bright bible bible verse sorry guys so our bible verse of the day is from ephesians 5 verse 14 and it says there this is why it said it is said wake up sleeper rise from the dead and christ will shine on you so that's our bible verse of the day always remember guys that the lord jesus is the light in our life you know we may we, we may be or we are a sinner you know we may we so, you know somewhere in our past or in the present time we're doing a sin but never forget to stay connected to the lord you know he is the key that will unlock all the pain that is right here inside guys that is right here and here that keeps bothering us you know that keeps tormenting us god is the key you know jesus is the key you know ask the lord for the holy spirit to help us guys you know and the light of god will shine upon us like what he promised here in the bible you know everything that is in the bible is for us everything that is not in the bible guys we don't follow that okay so that's it for today guys um for more information about the topic today for the our reflection today i will put there in the screen the link for the for hope of the city's um saturday service uh preaching today so um i hope um i encourage you guys and thank you for um patience with me for her um watching this and if i there are things that i i want to explain but it's hard for me because i'm trying to um communicate with you guys in english so you know we can reach our our uh, our hands or will extend to a lot of people so they can understand too because i have some co-workers who told me that they're watching my vlog but it is in my language and they told me that they want to um listen to my vlog in english so i'm trying my best to um speak in english and um i know this is even though it's hard for me i'm i want to be obedient to the lord you know and he helped me see i finished the vlog again in english so i hope you guys understand everything that i say anyway guys um take care always know that i am always praying for you and your loved ones where so all of you guys are watching this video god bless you and i'll see you again next time um have a blessed weekdays bye guys